When you're running after an object, okay, and that object has a head start on you. So in this case, we have a man. That's the weird run. I think you should be going that way, and that should be going that way. Okay, never mind. Now, that's more like it. Now, uh, he has a bus, okay, and the bus is. Uh, it's a bad bus. There. Now, so, man and bus, okay? Bus needs a button. Now, it's a bus. Okay? So, guys, it's, uh, he's 40 meters away. Okay? And uh, he begins to accelerate uniformly from rest from him. So, we're going to set up a UVAS system, okay? So, we're going to do UVAS and red up here, and blue, so red representing the bus, blue representing the man. Now, the whole point of the question is to find the constant speed of man, hence the word constant speed. Man's acceleration? Zero. Zero. Man's speed? U. Man's final speed? U. U. Man's time, time. Man's distance, the bus's distance, plus 40. Okay, what about the other one? The bus starts off from rests. Its final velocity, haven't got a clue. Its acceleration, no idea, A. It's S value. Sorry? S. Okay. SB. It's T value. T. I think we're looking a bit short on information. Now, there's another thing here. The one thing, he says he just catches it. When you just catch something, you don't pass it out. And if you don't pass them out, what that means is that as the man gets right to the back of the bus, at this very instant where he's at the back of the bus, still running, okay? At this point in time, they're both going exactly the same speed. The bus is going you, and the man is going you. The man never goes faster than that bus after that. At the point at which their distances are the same, the man and the bus are at the same speed. Because the question says, uh, just catches. That's keyword. The word just catches means you barely get there, and the moment you touch that bus, the bus then starts to go faster than you. So we know that the technically the uh, the speed of the bus could be you. Yeah. We not time as well. Uh, times are the same. Yeah, twenty seconds. Oh, twenty seconds later. So you're right. So 20 seconds later, so we're looking a bit short on, on the variables and there's a reason for that, we knew that's 20. Now, so, say goodbye to my uh, Mona Lisa and then we'll start this question. Now, using all the variables at hand, which equation do you think you're going to pull out first? I'm thinking we could be looking at uh, ut plus a half at squared. In fact, I'm pretty certain of it. So, we're going to start off with the man. S of man. And what's the man's distance equal to again? SB plus 40. Or the distance covered by the bus plus 40. Now, ut plus a half at squared. And that is going to be, ut is going to be uh, 20u. Now what's going to be a half a? It's going to be a half times zero times 20 squared. No good. The man's distance is simply 20 u. You happy with that? Now, we go to the red. And what we're looking at here is the bus. So s of the bus ends up to be u times, so it's going to be zero times 20, which is no good. Plus a half a. We don't know what a is. And we know that a... Uh, T is 20 squared. So SP ends up to be 
Uh, 400 divided by 2, 200A. Can anybody tell me what is the problem with these two equations at this point in time? Not the same variable. They're not relatable. They don't know what language they're speaking to each other. We need a translator. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to try and convert A into U somehow. Anybody suggest a formula? A formula that has A and U, with U in it at the same time. V equals U plus AT. Okay, let's try V equals U plus AT. Now this is perfect because V is U, U is 0, and it's 20A. Therefore, we now, now know that U equals 20A. Therefore, what's SB then? Well, I say? S divided by 10, so it's going to be 10U. They now speak the same language as each other. Now, what we're going to get next is I'm going to isolate SB in this formula here. I'm going to say that SB is 20U minus 40, which it is. And now I can relate both equations directly to each other. So both equations is going to be SB equals SB, so 20U minus 40 equals 10u. Bring 10u over your side and we get 10u uh, equals 40, u equals 4. He's running at 4 meters per second. Now, if the constant speed of the man had been 3 meters per second, show that the closest he gets to the bus is 17.5 meters. What does that mean about the relationship of part 2 to part 1? Part 2's information has nearly absolutely nothing to do with part 1's information. Except from the start. So, ready to do this one? Okay. So, what we have this time is this. You, we're going to do the man again in blue. You've asked. So U is a uh, 3, is it? B is 3, A is 0, S we don't know, T is still T. We're not giving the time this time. The bus U equals we don't know, 0. Lads, what's the bus's final velocity if we're getting as close as we can? It has to be 3. Because the minute the bus goes over tree, what happens? It doesn't reach the bus. Doesn't reach the bus. Uh, That's the closest he gets to it. So when it goes to tree, isn't it? After it goes past tree, it's just going to get further away from it. Yeah, it's going to get further away from it. Okay. Now, A, we still never figured out the acceleration of the bus, but we didn't have to do that in the last question anyway, so we'll, we'll see what we have. S, we don't know, T. Now guys, can anybody tell me what's the relationship of the two S's? Let me know the relationship between the two S's. Yes. I actually have to show that, don't I? It's not so much I'm giving it, I have to show it. So, my whole goal in this question is, if it's a... Uh, let me see. Yeah. If, he, if you start off 40 meters away from each other, and my goal is to show that it's 17.5, then how much distance do I actually have to cover to make that 17.5? I, I have to make up a gap of 22.5. Okay. Now, I did also, I also used the last question to find the acceleration of the bus, so I, I sort of eliminated that information too quickly, okay? So I had to go back to the end of my last question, and I had to find out the acceleration of the bus. So what we found out at the time was that uh, U equals 4. So this is the old information of the bus from part one. U is zero, V is four, 
we know that time is 20. So we actually had access to the bus's acceleration from the last question. I needed it. So V equals U plus AT. 4 equals uh, 0 plus 20A. 20A equals 4. A equals 1 fifth ms to the minus 2. So I did actually have access to the acceleration of the bus. Okay. Now that I've done that, what we're going to do now <coughs> is uh, use this information now. So, okay. So what we're saying is that it has to close in has to close in 22.5 meters. So we can do this relative, I suppose. Might be a good idea. Yeah. So I have an idea. Does anybody remember? Does anybody remember the relative? The way I did it relative before. Do you remember where I made one data set out of two data sets? So what I did was I said I said this. I did a comparison. Okay. So this is relative to each other. Relative to each other, how much distance do I have to make up? Twenty-two point five. I have to catch up twenty-two point five meters to get seventeen point five meters away. Okay. Now. At the point at which you're just you're at your furthest distance away from the bus, what can you say about that? You're both going the same speed, aren't you? So you're both going the same speed. So what's your speed relative to each other? Zero. An example would be if I'm going five meters per second and I'm chasing the bus that's going four meters per second, what's my relative speed? One. One. Because I'm catching up one meter every second. However, in this scenario, it's five and five, or let's, for argument's sake, say they're the same speed, which they have to be, or what's a three and three. This means that my relative speed is zero. Now, my acceleration. Now, this is the hard one, the acceleration, okay? If I'm the man and I'm chasing the bus, okay? At, am I closing in the bus faster as time goes on, or am I closing it in slower? slower because when you're chasing an object that's getting faster and faster and faster you're going to close in less gap every time so in effect the acceleration appears to be a negative you're decelerating relative to the bus okay then finally time is still time and what's your starting off speed at the start when you're chasing the bus the bus is not moving and you're chasing after it three there's one data set created out of two data sets. Okay, and that's the much easier way to do this type of question. So, what we're going to do next is uh, <coughs> just use this data set now. <coughs> so, we're going to figure out. Now, we need to prove that this is 22.5. Okay, so first things first, I can use V equals U plus AT. And then I can say that V equals uh, 0 equals uh, 3 minus 1 fifth T. 1 fifth T equals 3. T equals 15. Happy enough of that? T equals 15. Then I can prove that S equals UT plus a half AT squared. So S therefore is going to be 3 times 15 plus a half times minus one fifth times 15 squared. Can somebody put that into the calculator for me? And if I prove that S is 22.5, I therefore prove that I gain 22.5 meters just at the point at which we start going the same speed. That is 22.5. Is that 22.5? Yeah. Yeah, so therefore it's 22.5. I have proved that the, the man gained 22.5 meters on the bus before, just as they start on the same speed. Therefore, the closest he'll get to the bus is 40 minus 22.5 equals 17.5. Okay, that's it, guys.